Kona 2015, welcome to the highlights. Highlights for me so far is that uh, Tim Don uh, is uh, leading the bike leg with three missed drug tests. <laughs> and Olympic qualifiers and Olympic attendants. How, how the fuck does Tim Don uh, compete and still have three missed drug tests and no one's talking about it at all? But uh, who cares? Because all sports, there's all drugs in all sports, NFL, basketball, cricket, soccer, everyone at the top's juicing. It's not just the piss-ass drug test that they have at the Kona World Champs. A lot of shiny people there. Pink seems to be new the colours here. A lot of tanned, fit-looking people. And a lot of vegan athletes this year at Kona. Quite interesting. A lot of cool-looking bikes. Now, what's been your favourite bike? Some of those Cannondales look pretty bling. Some interesting paint jobs. Um, will anyone test positive this year? No way. The, co they just don't do the drug testing is a joke. EPO is so easy to use. If you're an Ironman athlete... I know some Ironman athletes, I know some are natty, but the top crew, if you're not using Edgar, you got no chance, man. you got no fucking chance at all because you're going to get at least 10% gains. 10% in a marathon after five, six hours of racing? You have to be a fucking idiot to be a professional Ironman athlete and not use any juice because you're not going to be a professional. You won't win anything. You'll be a also ran. Sponsors don't give a fuck about natural athletes. Sponsors want people winning shit. Big shit. Alright? Maybe your local bike shop look after you, but I'm talking big companies want the fucking athletes just smashing it out. Chrissy Wellington style. She did a smart move quitting before she got pinged. But ITU, all that stuff, they're never going to bust anyone because it's bad for the sport. People have learned from Lance Armstrong's situation. They've learned from that that if you pretend, if you expose the drug problem in your sport, you lose sponsorship money. So the, everyone's learned from Lance. Just keep your lips shut. Don't test the star athletes or test them and throw the tests out and just let it be, let it be. There's my highlights for the, uh, the Kona. Uh, some great bicycle technology. Power meters, everyone using power meters. That's really good. Pacing, 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 pacing. The power meter is the best thing for a triathlete because you can ride to wattage and you can pace yourself. So if you want to, if you want to shave minutes off your time, get a power meter and learn how fast you can ride, how much watts you can ride for 180Ks or 100Ks and then do that on race day, all right? Do, just go out and do an Ironman in training. It's not that fucking hard, mate. The swim's the hardest for me because I can't fucking swim 50 meters without stopping, but bike and run. You know, do a 180K ride and finish with a marathon. Just do it in training and then on race day, it'll be a lot easier and you work out what, what you can do. And if you're gonna use EPO, keep an eye on your hemoglobin because if it gets over 160, Chances are you could die from a heart attack because of clotting. So if you're gonna use EPO, make sure your doctor knows what he's doing or he or she knows what they're doing. And it's really, you gotta stay hydrated on EPO. Um, and that's what the top athletes get. They get that, they get that doctor support. They get doctor support. You, you, I can give you anyone drugs and they're gonna fly. But if you've got a doctor who knows their shit and the athletes working with them, they're gonna fly even faster. And some tips nutrition wise, one gram of carbs per kilo body weight per hour. 10 grams of carbs per kilo body weight per day. Drink enough water so you're pissing clear every two and three hours and you're sorted.